Yeah, and welcome. Yeah. welcome. Yeah, thank you so much. And by the way, I do love your amazing dress. First of all, it's now considered uh, a freely usable international currency. And uh, this is really a, a milestone. It's historical for many reasons. Uh, first of all, it is uh, the first time that the basket of currencies that determine the value of the SDR is expanded. In the past, it has reduced. First time it is expanded. It's the first time that we uh, admit a new currency since the euro. And I think it's critically important for China and for the international monetary system as well. Uh, it's part and parcel of the most important currencies in the world. That's really what it means, first of all. Second, it's included in that very exclusive club that define the special drawing right. And we're very proud to have uh, walked that journey with the Chinese authorities, particularly with the uh, PBOC, uh, which has been extremely active, I can assure you, in the last couple of years to make sure that the renminbi was properly included, that all the reforms concerning the financial markets in particular and the supervision uh, had taken place. And we are gratified for all this work that was put into it. Yeah. Well, first of all, it's, it, it, it's a currency that actually denominates the value of various bonds, various portfolios. It's a currency that is regarded as, as exchangeable between central banks and which is acknowledged by the uh, the BIS. So it's, it's really a, a, a value of, uh, of reference. And the fact that the renminbi is now included and that we have five currencies in the basket is very helpful in order to spread the risks, in order to manage the risk, in order to hedge against the risk. And, uh, you know, we don't need too much risk. We would rather have stability and predictability, which I think will be helped by having a, a broader and more solid basket of currencies.